y'all, welcome to the new adventure. Today, we're gonna to be making a Dutch oven lasagna over our Ranger solo stove. Here we go. What you doing over there? Uh, well, all this wood I made the shavings for, it just dropped. Uh, so, I'm playing pickup, and then- Pick up sticks. I used pick to, up sticks. I used to play that game when I was a yeah. kid. Playing pick up sticks. No big deal. <laughs> well, I see somebody looking at our food over here. Right. What are you doing, Henri? Are you looking at our food? So we're getting ready to make some dinner. Uh, kind of feeling like we want to go camping, but we just don't have the time right now. So we're going to do a campfire dinner. But I want to do a campfire lasagna for dinner. So we're going to give that a shot. So I'm getting ready to get a fire going. And from there, we're going to throw it all in our Dutch oven. And we're going to have some dinner. So we're getting ready to brown up the sausage. First we thought we'd throw in some garlic. Get that going real good. I got a little bit of olive oil in there. And then we're gonna throw in the sausage. But we figured we'd get the garlic going first. Now if you cut your pants on fire, can I laugh? I don't care. So I always recommend if you're gonna be cooking outside, to go ahead and pre-prep your food. So what we did was we went on and mixed our cheeses and stuff together and our seasonings. I went on and shredded up some cheese. Um, I shredded six, one 16 ounce block of whole milk mozzarella. I put half in the cheese that will go inside the lasagna and half to go on top. And then this is one 32 ounce um, canister of ricotta cheese and then just salt, pepper, a little bit of garlic and some fresh herbs. And then that way you have less to do outside if you go ahead and pre-prep everything. So that's just a little helpful tidbit for you. This is Italian sausage, and we got the mild Italian sausage ground. Um, I'm gonna add this to this pan here with the garlic and just let this brown. And I even brought out a little um, container with paper towels in it to put the sausage in when it's done cooking so that we can drain the fat from it. So I got a positive and a negative for you. Cast iron holds heat beautifully. That's both positive and negative. If you get a little too hot, it holds the heat. So uh, our fire was a little warm, so we just pulled it off, and now we're able to cook on a rock. Let's remind the, the, the friendly folks on YouTube to take the paper off the back of the meat. <laughs> Ground sausage has paper on the back of it. If you just toss it in there, you'll brown the paper first. So. Um, Gotta watch out for that. That was totally my bad. So I think it would be good to point out that you should keep your fire gloves close by. Absolutely. Okay, so if your fire gets too hot, you can then get it off quickly. You agree? Yeah, cause everything we're dealing with is quite warm. So if it gets warm, burn you. It'll burn you. So let's get our fire knocked back down into the pit. Yeah, it got pretty crazy over here. It got pretty it rowdy. All of a sudden it got off. pretty rowdy and uh, we had to yank it off really quick here. <laughs> so we have a solo stove. This is the Ranger model. We're coupling that with the Lodge 12 inch Dutch oven and we're using the Lodge cast iron stand for your Dutch oven. So all together, hopefully this will work out. Our fire's coming down a little bit. I'm gonna throw the sausage back on there, get a little more heat going in it, and see if we can get this fried up the rest of the way. So all the cool kids are 
all the cool kids are wearing these. All right, so I'm gonna ladle in some sauce here so that your noodles don't stick to your pan. Because cast iron, if it's not seasoned really well, things will stick to it. Plus it has some of the grease still from the um, meat we cooked. I did, um, we did wipe out some of that, but it should help it not to stick as much. But anyway, there we go. Got a good thin layer there. All right. Now, we are going to use these oven ready noodles that you do not have to pre-cook just to make our life a little bit easier here today. Hopefully, a one pack will be enough. Should be, we'll see. All right, guys. So we're gonna put a thin layer of noodles on the bottom. Then we're gonna layer some cheese, some meat, more noodles, cheese, you get the idea. This actually makes it easier to be able to shape it into a circle when you're not using pre-cooked noodles. Because you can't just snap a pre-cooked noodle like that. Alright, that should do for that. Alright, now I'm going to add our cheese mixture. So this is just ricotta cheese, whole milk mozzarella, herbs, seasonings, salt pepper, I will put a full recipe down in the description box below for you guys. Yum, this smells so good already and it's not even cooking yet. So I used half of my mixture and I spread it all over our noodles. Now I'm gonna use half of the meat and I'm gonna layer this on. It's been draining on a paper towel here to get some of the grease out of it. So we're gonna just sprinkle this right over top of our cheese mixture, like so. We're gonna do more sauce on top of that. Some more noodles on top of that. Where are the noodles? There they are. It's nice to have this little rock dish to sit down and work on, you know. Of course, if you were at a campsite, you could do this on your picnic table. That would be a good place to do that. But since we can't be out camping this weekend, we are just going to use what we have. All right, so I've gotten another layer of the noodles. Now I'm going to add the last layer of cheese here on top of that. Now the tricky part about this is getting the inside of the Dutch oven to the correct temperature. So we're gonna be playing around since we're not using um, briquettes like you would in a um, charcoal grill. We're gonna have to just kind of guesstimate with our actual like coals from the fire, our wood, our log coal. So we'll see what we can do. There is an art to it, kind of a science to it, but today we are winging it. All right, I'm gonna put the rest of the meat on. Probably could have done another pack of the ground Italian sausage. Sausage. <laughs> Probably could do another pack of the ground Italian sausage. You could do hot Italian sausage. You could do ground beef. Whatever kind of meat you like. Ground turkey, if you don't eat beef, that's fine too. It doesn't matter, you can kind of improvise but any kind of meat will work. And I'm gonna do another layer of sauce. I'm gonna have to open the other jar though. Now, if you wanted to be real Italian, you could make your own sauce, but. I'm, We're not real Italian. I'm Southern at best, so it's not gonna happen for me. That ought to do that. Okay, I'm gonna put the last layer of noodles on top and then we're gonna really cheese it, put the lid on and put it over the fire. Since these noodles did not have to be pre-baked, I am gonna put just a little bit of sauce over the top of them just so they don't dry out. Um, 
because nobody wants dried out noodles. That's just gross. So let's do that. I'm not going to put a lot, just a little bit, just kind of a coating on them. And then we're going to cheese it up really good. And I did save some of the fresh herbs to go on top, but we'll put those on after it's all cooked for the serving presentation. Because when you're at a campfire, presentation is everything. Okay, perfect. Now, let's add the cheese on top. And this is whole milk mozzarella. If you use part skim, that's fine, but it just will not melt quite as pretty as the whole milk does. And you can buy this pre-shredded. We just bought it and shredded it ourselves. It's whatever you want to do. This looks good. Here goes nothing. Putting it on and playing with the temperatures for a little bit. We'll see what we... We even gained a dinner guest over here from the smell of the... From the smell of the far. Anytime you have a campfire, it's like a party just starts up, you know? Okay. I definitely recommend a good pair of fire gloves when you're going to be cooking over an open fire. Okay, got our lid on. Oh, that's heavy. All right, here goes nothing. I'm just going to sprinkle a few little fresh herbs over the top here and let's serve it up. So I'm going to let it cool for a few minutes before we cut into it and just kind of let it sit because it is really boiling around the edge here. So I'm just going to let that kind of cool and then we'll cut into it. All right, let's see. The noodles are good and soft. That's what I was worried about. Yeah, no, they're good. They're not, they're done for sure. So we cooked it about 30 minutes. We ended up putting some coals on the top to make sure it was cooking evenly through. If you have briquettes, you can actually adjust your temperature a lot easier. Um, there is a whole method to how many briquettes, um, what, what your temperature will be. But we just kind of winged it tonight and actually it worked out really good. So we're gonna enjoy our dinner. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next week on The New Adventure. Bye y'all. Y'all probably can't tell by looking at me, but I do eat pretty good. <laughs> I do. So um, so when he said he wanted to make a lasagna in the Dutch oven, I was kind of a little bit apprehensive <laughs> that we would burn it. And, but it actually turned out perfect. So it, it really did, y'all. You really need to try this one. So um, thoughts on it. You're definitely going to want to put some heat on top. Yeah. That Otherwise, helps. you'll absolutely burn the bottom. And just keep checking. Um, don't cook it probably more than 30 minutes, I would say. Um, yeah, so we you've had got it pretty it much really raised full. all the way up with our solo stove. Now, if you're right. using like a regular campfire, it's not going to have near as much heat coming up. So that right. would be a lot easier. You could probably maintain it. Also, before you start your cooking, let a good bit of coals get on the bottom because you need to put those coals on the top Yeah, to I think melt. we kind of started ours a little bit quick. I think we did too. We got the fire really rolling and then we just went on and started. Let's be real. We were hungry and we wanted to eat. So we just started... <laughs> And but yeah, let your coals time. build up in the bottom of that of that solo stove first. Then you can pick them out and put them on the top. That's that's good advice. We put coals on the top and they would go out. Yeah. So we put some unburnt wood, like little short pieces, on top of the coals, and that created a fire so and on allowed top the coals. Of the pot. Right. It started. Oh. Okay. And it allowed the coals to keep their heat in them. Okay. So. All right. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Um, we are starting to get back to some really fun stuff around here on the farm. Yeah. Life is returning to what we used to know as a normal. normal. So, uh, yeah, we're really thankful for that. So we'll see y'all next week. Absolutely. Y'all take care, guys. We'll right. see you. Bye.